Hey, what's up, Improvement Warriors? Jason Young back again with you another Friday, another Mobilization Friday. I have two mobilizations for you. We're going to wake your butt up and wake your hips up. Those are two areas that get super, super tight, and these are two mobilizations, two stretches that you can do anytime, and you can pretty much do them every day, and you'll always be feeling some benefit. Okay? So one will require a lacrosse ball. Everybody should have a lacrosse ball in their office, at their home, multiple places in their home. I have one in my office. I have one in my bedroom. I have one in my fitness jabroni dungeon. I have them everywhere. Okay? You'll need a, a lacrosse ball for one, and you'll need just your body weight for the other. This other one, I'll show that one first. So this one's for the hips. You can do this in your chair as well, so you don't have to get on the floor and look like a a freak in your office if you don't want to. But on the floor would be better. So if you're on your chair, this is the executive hip stretch. Okay, there's two variations of it. What's up, Randy? How you doing today? So you're just gonna take your leg up, bring it up, and then you're just going to press down here. So you're pressing down here. You can also pull up here, that'll intensify the stretch. But for some people they can just rest here. Some people they can just be here and this is a stretch. And then you're just pressing down as deep as you can. Make sure you're fully breathing. Because if you hold your breath, your muscles tend to tense up. And then the stretch, the mobilization won't work. Okay. So there. Stay there for at least two minutes. Then you can take your leg. Give it a hug. Okay. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Don't round the shoulders. Okay. We want to mobilize in the best possible form that we can. And then just keep pulling it in about two minutes there, and then of course do the other side. Then the one the next step up is just doing it on the floor. And okay, so I'm really tight here. I'm always trying to work on this mobilization. So you're basically gonna take your ankle bone, try and put it on your other knee, on top of your knee. And then you're just resting here. So look at that gap there. Ridiculous tightness there. You can feel it. Two minutes at least here, and there will be an initial, anytime you're doing a mobilization, if you're really tight or you're really sore or there's some pain there, there's going to be an initial pain, and then it'll start to alleviate, and then as you go, so at least two minutes, two, three, four minutes, as you go longer, then the pain will just intensify. As it intensifies, just take it, because it's working. Okay? But you should know the difference between pain, pain, and I'm tight pain. Okay? So this was really the hips and the butt, two areas that get turned off immensely when you are sitting. If we're sitting for more than three hours, it's basically the new smoking. It's death to the body. So you see I'm coming down a little bit, so not a gap is not as far. So it's working. Okay? All right, and I would do the other side. And then the other mobilization is the, the butt smash. Lacrosse ball, don't do a tennis ball or anything like that. It needs to be nice and hard. Okay? And then we're just going to put it there under our butt, sit on it. Now, some people can do this variation where they take their leg up. That's what I would prefer you get to. But if you can't get your leg up there comfortably, then you're just going to rock back and forth on there. Okay? But I'm going to put my leg up. And then you're hunting and scouring for areas, ooh, right there. I found one. So once you find a trigger point or an area that's a little more tender, you just stay there, floss back and forth on it. You can try and squeeze your butt, breathe, exhale. Okay? Squeeze your butt, breathe in, exhale. And just try and sink as deep as you can into the ball. You're using your back hands back here to assist. Take some weight off if you need it you should be able to apply as much pressure into the ball and not feel anything. Or, I mean, you'll feel something, but you shouldn't feel pain. That is a healthy tissue, and that's what we want. Healthy tissues all around. Now, with this mobilization, you want to do five minutes on the butt cheek, just hunting around each butt cheek, because it is a big area. This one, again, you can do every day, and you'll find an area, especially if you're sitting more than three hours per day. I'll link up my sitting video here down below so you can watch that. 
Okay? And that's pretty much it for today. Of course, I'm going to get the other side. So I'm going to go do a workout now. And you would get the other side as well. Hope you like this. What's up? Housing. You would do the other side as well. Get a lacrosse ball, put it everywhere, and use it. Smash your butt, stretch your hips, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior.